Given the number of fatal accidents the comet suffered during its early life, was it pushed into service too quickly? The de Havilland Comet was the world's first commercial jet airliner, but it encountered significant challenges early in its service life. Several catastrophic in-flight breakups occurred, leading to the aircraft's grounding. These accidents were attributed to metal fatigue around the square windows of the pressurised cabin, highlighting potential shortcomings in testing and a limited understanding of metal fatigue in pressurised aircraft structures. While the Comet's early failures were a setback, they led to crucial advancements in aircraft design and safety, including a deeper understanding of metal fatigue and the development of more robust aircraft structures. What do you think should more research have been carried out on metal fatigue before the Comet entered service?